Hi guys, welcome to Fit and Calm. I'm Kush Pinder and let us have a look at what are the best yoga mats in India that are eco-friendly. Before we do that, I would like to recommend that you go for an eco-friendly yoga mat rather than going for the normal rubber or PVC mats. Uh, the rubber mats, they release a lot of carcinogenic chemicals. They are not good when they are produced. They are not good when they are disposed and they are not good for the end customers. That is for us health wise as well so in short not good for you not good for the environment so let's go green for this video we have divided uh, the categories into a light practice intermediate practice and an intense practice and underneath all of the categories we've divided the maths by price going from the lowest to the highest Coming to the first category which probably would serve a majority of the people which is mats that can be used for an intermediate practice. Of course you can use it for a light practice as well and the mats under this category happen to be cotton mats. Uh, initially when I had not used the cotton mats I was a little skeptical about them. I didn't think the cotton mats would give that grip. Uh, but when I started using them, I was really surprised by the feel and uh, by the kind of practice you can have even on a cotton mat. So the first uh, yoga mat in this category is the Yoga Land uh, mat. It's a pretty looking cotton yoga mat. At the bottom, it has natural rubber base. Uh, so the natural rubber helps with the bottom grip a lot. That is your mat does not slip, does not move at the bottom at all when you practice. And the top grip is also decent. It's super easy to uh, carry around. It can be folded uh, like a blanket itself and uh, uh, washing it is also not a problem although this needs to be hand washed because of the rubberized bottom you need to be a little careful with it so that you can maintain the mat over a longer period of time if you're someone who's not really used to cotton mats before there is uh, a little bit of time that you it might take you to adjust to that one thing that happens with the cotton mat especially with the top grip in few of the asanas uh, like uh, your downward dog pose uh, even in your warrior poses where you need a little bit more uh, grip and a little bit more balance you will uh, find that your hands might be uh, you know probably slipping or you might need a little more strength to hold the pose eventually i've noticed is that you know you end up using more muscles to stabilize your body on a cotton mat and if you're someone who's very used to that rubber grip uh, you might find it a little bit lacking in uh, grip as well so one very easy way to fix that problem with the cotton mats is you can sprinkle a little bit of water initially on your mat especially where your hands and your feet are going to be that's at the front of the mat and uh, towards the end of the mat the only thing about this mat is that the cushioning is a little low uh, but i've not found it uncomfortable to practice on it's about four to five mm which is quite decent but on a cotton mat and a rubber mat four to five mm it will feel a little different that's all coming to the next one uh, that's the arka yoga mats arka for you yoga mats uh, these are again cotton yoga mats again hand woven as well and uh, they have a rubberized bottom so their bottom grip is excellent the top grip can be fixed with the water uh, although i would highly recommend just see and practice and sometime you will start finding that you know you'll kind of get used to the cotton mat and you will get more stability and strength slowly and gradually once you start learning how to navigate on a cotton yoga mat if that doesn't work sprinkle water this mat is super easy to carry super easy to travel with and these mats have a really great feel about them uh, it's just that they are soft and very nice for a very meditative practice as well again it's got just 4 mm cushioning which is a little bit on the lower side so in few asanas you might feel that and uh, um, especially for cat cow and for people with a little sensitive joints if you have an existing PVC mat you can always place that underneath and uh, the rubberized surface that is there uh, the grip it is really good the bottom grip is really good because of that but that le leaves if you're using it indoors that leaves a little bit of uh, you know a mark on the floor it's very easy to clean but it still like leaves a bit of mark on the floor you can hand wash this mat with the cold water the arka mats come in nine beautiful designs and they have uh, two price ranges 
uh, one is 1450 and another is 1650 which is currently discounted now the next mat is one of the most interesting mats uh, that's from uh, the company Nischala and uh, what they do is a very interesting ancient technique uh, they use which is called Ayurvastra which is infusing Ayurvedic herbs into textiles Ayurvedic herbs are dyed into organic cotton they use uh, turmeric trifala and uh, tulsi they use no chemicals whatsoever even for the dyes and uh, this also has a very good grip at the bottom which is coated with natural uh, rubber for the top they have done something different than the other mats uh, they've just kind of made a little uneven surface in the front and at the back so that the grip in the postures like downward dog or uh, in the postures like Virbhadrasana in warrior pose is uh, good again if you're someone who's used to PVC mats you still might find the grip a bit lacking uh, but the grip is quite decent and you sprinkle a bit of water all your problems with the grip go away you need to be a little careful with the washes uh, you can hand wash these mats this mat is also very easy to carry around very easy to fold easy to maintain uh, this mat is about four to five mm the cushioning is not that high but it's not uh, doesn't feel too low at the same time the length and the width of this mat is a little more than your usual ones i always get very excited when i find mats that are a little longer and wider than the usual ones uh, so for any of the tall people out there this mat is six feet six inches in length and the mat is two feet three inches in width which is quite quite larger than your an average yoga mats now coming to the next mat which is the yoga asana mat and the yoga asana mat is probably one of the mats out of all which has the highest quality weave and yarn these mats are hand woven this mat has very good cushioning it's about five to six mm so you don't feel like you're sitting on the floor it's uh, quite thick as well and uh, this mat comes in seven different colors and the shades are very subtle and very nice they've gone with the elements of nature uh, for their colors and uh, this mat comes with a guarantee of 15 years which is valid internationally so anything goes wrong with the mat they will uh, change your mat uh, for free for 15 years this mat also has a good top grip a decent top grip i find and if i sprinkle a bit of water i usually can even practice go for an intense practice on this if you're practicing indoors i would recommend uh, you know probably placing something underneath a pvc mat or uh, you know maybe just sprinkle more water underneath also on the floor to get that bottom grip also uh, the only issue with this is when you're using it indoors uh, you know the bottom grip is not there but that also makes it easy to wash easy to clean it's machine washable and uh, even after washes uh, the quality and everything for the mat is still the same uh, it's quite color fast and this mat is a bit uh, on the costlier side it's around 3500 rupees with a 15 year uh, you know guarantee that it comes with um, I, I really don't think the price is much if they're giving that much of assurance to you in terms of the quality of the mat also with all of these cotton mats that I've seen all of them are hand woven by the way and they support the artisans uh, they support the local craftsmen which is uh, a thing that should be encouraged a little more in my opinion and uh, these mats also might leave a little bit of an impression on your hands uh, when you practice all these are cotton mats uh, so it will not be like uh, rubber uh, but it's not something uh, that i've found you know uncomfortable in any way and uh, some people even like that it kind of gives a little bit of that acupressure feel uh, it's not too much uh, but a little bit of it might be there as you practice Coming to the next category of mats, which is mats for an intense practice. These are mats that can handle your vinyasa flows, hot yoga, ashtanga, and anything else that you can think of. And uh, these mats are, a lot of them are made up of a natural rubber in combination with another material. Coming to the first mat in this category, that is the Eco Corner uh, Yoga Mat. The Eco Corner uh, Yoga Mat is a cork and natural rubber yoga mat. The grip of this mat is very high. The bottom grip is high. The top grip is also very high from the beginning till the end. And it's 
very sweat absorbent as well this mat uh, has a little lower cushioning which is around 3 mm and uh, weighs 2.5 kgs and now they've redesigned their mats the new mats weigh 1.5 9 kgs the mat initially uh, will smell of natural rubber uh, which might uh, not be to everyone's liking if you clean it with a little bit of uh, soap water and a wet cloth and you leave it to air dry uh, the smell goes off eventually and it can feel a little bit uh, rough on the skin they have three different designs and uh, two price ranges which is 2200 rupees and uh, 3000 uh, rupees coming to the next one which is the juru uh, yoga mat uh, juru yoga mat is another natural rubber and cork yoga mat uh, so cork is antimicrobial this mat also has great grip the grip of the cork mats out of all uh, the other mats is the best unparalleled grip you will find in uh, these cork mats and juru gives a five year uh, grip guarantee on their mats it's very very sweat absorbent the juru mats are 3 mm thick which again might be a little low for some people one of the things that i like about juru mat is that it does not smell of natural rubber even though it is made of natural rubber and the feel of this mat is uh, not rough even though it is uh, you know a cork mat it doesn't feel rough and i've been using their ttp mat uh, from some time and i really like that mat the ttp mat weighs about 2.2 kgs but it just doesn't feel too heavy the mat is quite compact and very very easy to carry it's been my go to mat uh, for an intense practice even if i'm you know going out somewhere i I somehow tend to pick up the juru mat much more than the others and one good initiative that they are doing with every purchase of their mat they are giving a free bamboo straw which is really good for the environment to avoid all the plastic straws that are there in the market uh, they have different designs and different weight and price ranges the weight ranges from about 1.8 to 2.5 kgs the links are down below do check out the description for the links coming to our next mat in this category which is the decathlon natural rubber and jute mat uh, this is a mat which has probably the closest feel to a pvc mat and uh, the color of this mat is white which is unfortunately not that easy to maintain and very very easily it gets uh, dirty uh, the surface also might feel a little uh, rough for this mat the grip of this mat is uh, quite decent though and uh, the cushioning is uh, 4 mm which again might feel uh, you know a little low for some people uh, it is decent though quite like a normal uh, rubber mat and uh, the weight of this mat is 2.6 kg uh, which is a little bit on the higher side and the price is 3500 rupees this mat also comes uh, with a 2 year warranty coming to the last mat which is the kosha yoga mat one of my favorite uh, mats out there uh, this is i think a mat which feels so luxurious and so nice to practice on and they have a huge range of styles probably the most stylish yoga mat in india currently and uh, this is made up of natural rubber and suede layer on top which is uh, very very sweat absorbent it is made up of microfiber the natural rubber is completely biodegradable and uh, the suede is not 100% biodegradable although it is recyclable 88% of the mat is completely biodegradable this mat is of superb quality really sturdy is 4.5 mm and uh, the cushioning of this mat Uh, for me doesn't feel that low even though i've had a knee injury and uh, i'm a little sensitive i find the cushioning of this mat to be uh, quite decent uh, the grip of this mat is also very good some people might find uh, the grip to be a little bit uh, you know towards uh, i wouldn't call it slippery side but initially when you're taking the mat it might not feel very very high uh, so you need to break into the mat they've also given a couple of steps on how you can do that and when you use it continuously uh, it will not slip that much but even if it does slip for you you can sprinkle a bit of water the microfiber is super sweat absorbent and that will give you amazing grip if you're having any issues with grip these mats are amazing when it comes to a sweaty practice and uh, the sweatier you get the better the grip uh, they have basically two kind of mats one is their normal mat 
mats which come in 10 really pretty designs and they also have uh, the big mats which is the normal mat is six feet by two feet the big mats uh, for people who are tall which is six feet four inches in length and uh, two feet four inches in width their normal mat weighs 2.7 kgs and their big mat weighs 3.2 2 kgs and uh, they are priced at uh, 4500 rupees is the normal mat and they are priced at 5000 rupees for the big mats which i understand is a little bit towards the pricier end of the yoga mats but the quality and the feel of these mats is really great once you use these mats you'll feel like it's worth the money that you've spent on it you can also get special discount on this so just check out the link below coming to our last category the light practice these mats as the name suggests are good for a light practice meditative practice and asanas where you're not you know moving a lot the first one is the swayam yoga mat and uh, the, this yoga mat is a cotton yoga mat and it's super comfortable and super easy to carry it you can just fold it like a blanket you can carry it around in your laptop bag in your uh, suitcase however you want the mat is uh, quite light it's under one kg and also it has a side sling it folds itself like a yoga mat if you want to carry it like a traditional yoga mat and it is machine washable it comes in uh, 12 different designs and they change the designs each year as well so this is one of the mats that i think i use on a very regular basis um, i use another mat for an intense practice because that gets a little sweaty and when it comes to my sudarshan kriya and meditative practices i usually take a bath after my yoga practice and then i place this mat on top and after that i like to practice on a clean surface when i like to meditate the cushioning is a little low this is a great mat if you are someone who practices on the bed one more thing that is there is this contains a 300 gsm polyfill which is inside the cotton uh, mat but it's not visible from the outside and it doesn't come in contact with your skin so it's all right for uh, you to use it uh, but it's not uh, biodegradable or recyclable there's a tiny layer of that the top grip and the bottom grip of the mat is not that high but when it comes to a light practice it will serve you well coming to the second mat which is the decathlon cotton yoga mat this is a great mat for travel again you can fold it very easily and uh, you can carry it around in your laptop bag you can carry it around in your suitcase uh, the mat is uh, not too heavy it's uh, 1.4 kgs which is decent uh, and its length and width is more than your normal yoga mat uh, for all the tall people out there this is a good mat to have and the bottom and the top grip of this mat is low one good thing about this mat is that it is machine washable so you don't really have to worry about uh, that too much you can easily take it out if you're going to a park if you're going to the beach you don't really need to think too much because you can clean this mat very very easily and this mat comes with a two-year warranty from decathlon anything goes wrong with the product you can always go back to them all the links to all these products are mentioned in the description below so please do check that out there are also some discounts that you might be able to avail that we'll be mentioning so give a look at that we hope you liked this video today and we hope we helped you pick up the right eco-friendly yoga mat for you if you like this video or if you would like to go ahead with a yoga mat uh, you might want to check out our videos later on on how to choose a yoga mat what materials are yoga mats made up of how to fold a yoga mat how to clean a yoga mat and if you're someone who's interested in practicing yoga we have a lot of content here on you where you can just practice from the comfort of your own home we have an entire 30 days of yoga series that you can practice with us and uh, do let us know how you like today's video do let us know if you know any more yoga mats that you practiced on or if any feedback on these yoga mats as well and if you have not subscribed to our channel do press that subscribe button thank you for joining us may you stay fit and calm